all right guys so i got uh disconnected again but hopefully now it will work again so we the new live stream we just did the speed test you might want to check so i need to check to make sure it's working now again and in live stream you can uh, leave comment and let's see waiting for i'm testing the gopro and uh, through my phone so it's kind of a little bit complicated but see if it works looks like it, it might have some delay so if you leave me a message i can read it if not leave a comment below and i can read comments later so we're on mac wheel tour plus and um, see if it's for some reason i say it's waiting but Okay, looks like it works. It just delay. So let's go for a ride. And hopefully we'll have no interruption. So I'm on pedal assist level one, can go to the level two to comfortable ride. So I'll talk about the bicycle, what I like about this uh, Mark Will Tour Plus and what I don't like it. Uh, first, I think this bicycle is great for people who is taller. I'm 5'11", sit very comfortable on this bike. The uh, like steam racer can go even high if I need to, so the handlebar, the handlebar can go high, uh, which is great. Usually, uh, bicycles come uh, a little bit lower than this handlebar. And um, make sure you tighten the bolt underneath, because that's something I missed the first time. Because I think usually it's a uh, attach well but for some reason this bike particular was not so i'm gonna go with a um, no pedal assist first to show you my experience running without any uh like power right now on pedal assist zero and it's uh gear number five probably number four or three would be even more comfortable right and i didn't do derailer adjustment and I didn't do derailer adjustment or something. Sometimes on the gear number four or three, now it's fine. But always, if you're first time to any bike or e-bike, um, usually they need some turn up. Doesn't matter how company market that they're fully assembled or not. This bike came about 85% assembled, but you need some final touch. And the final touch uh, need to do by either professional or you do at your own risk, if you know how to do that. So I'm going against a wind, but it's going pretty good eight months now with nice pedaling. So it's good for someone who got exercise, so you can pedal as a regular bicycle without power. And if you need some power, you just click on pedal assist level 2. And it's giving a nice smooth push-up. So it's not very torquey, like uh, some bicycle will just knock you off from the seat when you start to pedal. You feel more smooth, good quality setup, so they have very good settings. Uh, even it's cut and sensor, but when you start to pedal, it does not knock you off from the seat. It just smoothly accelerates. The motor, my sounds not not powerful, uh, based uh, on the low speed riding, but it does can get up to 
uh, 30 miles an hour, which is pretty fast. Even they mark it up to 28 since the class 2 with pedal assist should go up to 28 miles. But it works pretty good in my opinion. My wife decided to go for a walk. She wants me to ride her on the bicycle, but not now, uh, later on maybe. So she actually likes this bike, she might try it as well. But this bike actually like built for somebody who looking for uh, just uh, riding at the beach, like park, off-road, basically anywhere on the snow because it's so smooth and very stable. I can basically ride without even hands on this bike safely, but I don't recommend to do that. But I can say that bicycle is well built and I'll go over it later once I park in a in a park. We're gonna go to park. I stop on stop sign so you will not complain about it. Now we can go. Am I a good rider? Okay. So don't forget hit like <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. And this special discount code I mentioned in previous uh, videos is uh, fifty dollars. It's uh, only for short time. They gave me only fifty dollars with the code E right. I post the link in description, and you get also bundle for short time. They give you free bundle, which like three hundred dollars value. Sometimes the companies give you something you cannot really use, but this company Mark will actually give you something you will want to use. They give you very nice seat uh, post suspension they give you I'm gonna go for a little bit right and then I'll park so they give you uh, like seat comfortable back which I already attached and the mirror side mirror so they basically gave you everything most of that for free now just what you would probably buy so it gives you some savings as a price wise I think it's a good price for this quality build and I'll stop by and I'll show you everything what I mean by good quality. It does come with most generic like Shimano shifter, derailleur and uh, most parts but the handlebar it's pretty wide I believe it's like 27 or 28 inches wide. Uh, pretty adjust, uh, well adjustable and we can go over the grass. I didn't put any slime and we got a lot of wood horns like head over here so my get flat uh, let's I'm gonna park and go over the bike let's see where is the best place so nobody will bother us I'm gonna park right here most likely yeah so I'll buy, park in the shade so the GoPro will not cry on me because GoPro and others, I know sometimes they just cannot handle the heat. And of course, I'm gonna put a hi to make sure you guys can answer to join the chat live. So here I'm in a park, and this beautiful Markwell Tour Plus. I'm gonna turn on the headlight and put it on pedal assist level one just in case if I touch the throttle it will not get activated. That's very important safety rule number one. Always keep off the bicycle or pedal assist zero so you will not get crazy your bicycle crazy because it will just go like and run into wall to people wherever if you touch the throttle if it's on. So as you can see it comes with a um, not it's kind of no tail light it's like more side braking light if you press the brake you will turn on that's what i like about it. but they didn't like just give you the side which will be blocked by the rock as you can see but they also give you tail light and braking light on the back attached to the uh, rock which is integrated very good feature because most company just like attach over here and they say goodbye but they do install also tail light fully functional so that's a great options for riding at night and not only that they also included one of the brightest uh, headlight which comes with a dual light over here 
At night they actually really good. You don't really need any extra light. I rode it and it was great. Um, I already rode on this bike for a while in the dark and daytime and the hill. And I will have the full video as well listed in description. So let's go over the speed again because the video previous was cut off. So it comes with a Chaeyang 26 by 4 inches tires. And I noticed they usually come on kind of budget bicycle, uh, between budget, yeah, I would say budget, because they're um, up to 20 PSI, they're much softer than many other tires, and they come with nice nips over here, so never have any problem with them actually, but they're not heavy, they're kind of between, so you will have very comfortable ride. Highly recommend to put about 10 on the front, 15 PSI on the back. They can go up to 20 PSI, but for perfect performance on the road or off-road, 10 and 15 for me, it makes really good riding on this type of bicycle. It comes with full fenders, which is plastic. And I don't blame, plastic is good because they are not that loud. Uh, they also last forever. Plastic now it's what the most used, sometimes metallic, it's good but metallic might do some noises when you're going off-road because they will be much louder it does come with a, a mechanical disc brakes which i'm not really happy to see mechanical brakes on this type of powerful fast electric bicycle by there by zoom and it's not basic me mechanical brakes they're 180 millimeters which is better stopping power and they come with a dual calipers working so it's actually not pulling one side only like most mechanical brakes from both sides so the like uh, the piston uh, the piston will work from both sides that makes actually a big difference as well and let me get more to the shade this way I, I don't want to get the phone overheated as well uh, also the fork which important part of the riding off-road usually it comes with about 100 millimeters but all i see it's 80 uh, most likely if i really go jumping off the curves or off-road it might go higher but so far i can see about 80 millimeters based on the grease and many people are usually ask about grease and the grease is normal come out uh, usually from beginning and later on they will just disappear we just wipe it out and it will stop coming out it may do like for a while but again there's nothing wrong with the fork it will populate outside like this and then you just remove it by paper towel or just cloth to clean and wipe it out about the pedals the pedals is aluminum pretty good white and with some grips on it so it's great with some also reflector light so silver uh, chain and comfortable seat again they give you free more comfortable seat i'm not sure why you need more comfortable seat but they do give you for free if you buy it now they look like so it's great the steam comes by zoom which already included with all the store plus i guess and the front basket attachment right here so if you buy one uh, the rack or basket you can attach it if you need more cargo so let's talk about my experience and testing so i tested for the speed so it's doing about 90 miles an hour on throttle only as should be because it's uh, class 2 and they actually have the marking in california law they have to have a sticker over here class 2 750 watt motor and 20 miles per hour that's what it listed legally on the street most people worry and i'm not sure if the battery is ul certified i honestly not sure but you might want to check the website i didn't check that part i know most people worry about ul certified batteries that's something you need to check to see if they do have included ul certified i would assume they will because so far it's great and you will check and see it comes with 48 by 16 amp battery which is uh average 
for fat tire bikes it's a little bit above average i would say most of the bikes now comes about 15 so it's a little bit average higher than average and it comes with two gears and you would remove it very easy right over here and the battery will fall and you just need to unlatch okay so i start about performance my experience and the experience is great because it's going 90 miles an hour on throttle only that's all you need probably running off-road but it does uh, comes with a great uh, performance uphill test it was one of the fastest bike running me uphill i tested over 20 electric bicycles some of them couldn't go as fast like like this bicycle even with more watt power like rated but this bicycle perform excellent it's not something i make it up it's all documented in my video on camera and no editing like uh, speed so it was clear went up really fast and good and no problem with the motor the motor it says uh, mark wheel on it so it does not say how much like 750 it just says 48 volt but i'll show you a mark wheel so again the motor i have some experience the motor would have some problems after going that hill so far no issue that's a big plus to mark wheel so the motor is good again um, the speed the top speed 30 plus miles why i think it's great because with pedaling you can easily reach 28 miles an hour without really sweat and if you want to sweat a bit you can go over 30 miles an hour if you're going downhills of course you can go much faster but on flat surface i reach 30.8 miles an hour with just short distance i think if i go much further it would might go faster but i think that's fast enough and again make sure you wear completely safe helmet if you're planning to go as that fast because you must to have a uh, helmet which will be able to hold this type of speed usually helmets only good up to 16 miles and there's some helmet i've list, list them in description as well which can go 28 miles up to 28 miles an hour rated and tested next let's see what other features this bike offer so you can attach the bottle over here which already come with the uh, two bolts easy to attach i didn't attach because i just start to like ride it and give you experience uh go with the back just over here uh, it's a large capacity bag which can carry a lot of stuff i just put my bottle of water there which i'm gonna use right now so I'll take a, some break and we'll have some dog training totally illegal with no leash but that's okay <laughs> um, okay so i'm gonna put the bottle over here for now just to show you what it's for you can leave the bottle right here tighten up and they give you free right now this bag which made really nice quality and you can see if you need to tighten them very well one day it might be lost that's why i carry it inside here make sure you tighten the bottle otherwise everything will be wet then i have a e-bike user manual i honestly did not read this which i highly recommend to do that before you start to use a bicycle regardless if you experience or not i call myself experience not professional because to be professional you have to go to learn more about not just on my experience by also taking special classes of how uh, to work with a bicycle and i do it since i was oh boy six i started to ride bicycle and i did professionally when i was 13 14 years old but i did mostly road bikes now i start to review and ride any bikes so from my experience the riding on this bike is most comfortable uh, from um, hardtail they do have uh, softtail bikes which i am willing to review and hopefully 
I will be able to review Obsidian, but today we're only talking about Tor Plus. They have a name right here, so I will not forget about it, and you will remember as well. And anybody who will stop you on the road will ask you what kind of bike is this, and you can tell them it's Macwell by Tor Plus, right there. A lot of people ask me, is it electric? Yes. And I say, yes, of course. And they cannot see the battery. That's a plus because once the battery hidden, some people think it's just a regular bicycle. It's a little bit fat and bigger, larger, but it is better looking versus to have the battery outside. Much safer for the battery to be inside. If you're riding on the outside, if you're riding in cold weather, I think they're selling special like sleeves, which is great to put it on here around so it will keep the battery warmer uh, while the cold weather. I'm in California, but it's warm. We have like, I can go like bus, sun busing, I guess. <laughs> it's very warm compared to East Coast or any other places in uh, America. And I love the suspension because it's uh, responsive adjustable with preload over here and locking mechanism over here with simple switch uh, honestly I didn't adjust much I just leave it like this and put it soft way I like to be a very soft uh, fork so that will be perfect I like the frame I really think they did a really good job because I saw many frames looks nice but when you get close to the frame it's a little bit ugly so over here no bias you can see by yourself if you have electric bicycle you can go check how smooth all this transition all this welding i believe this welding it might be molded this part but looks like it's welded to me this one may be molded so i'm not sure like but over here you can still see a little bit but very clean so that's why i think also with this piece it's made for most strengths and i believe this bike can hold 400 or 450 pounds and i weigh only 215 with equipment a little bit more uh, i believe the rack can hold at least 50 pounds usually they rate it for 50 pounds but might hold even more so you might want to check on the website as well and let's go for more right and see if there any question mark well, not good customer service okay well um that's a good um, comment so honestly i never have any experience with the customer service so i cannot really tell if they're good or not so my mic will turn off by itself it's normal they basically turn it off after a certain time and let's turn it on so now it says hello I'm gonna try to ride to the more shady area, a shade area, so you can see better. And uh, what exactly you have experience with customer service if you like, it's a stay connected with EV. Well, honestly, it's my first experience. Never have customer service calls because I have zero issue with the bike. So I wonder what kind of service issues they have. Um, usually so let's go to settings and see what settings can offer you so you press uh, up and down at the same time and uh, so far <clears throat> i can only see brightness which i have a unit start top mode and reset that's it and it's turn off back to normal so there's no match to change on this bike because it will not allow you to change but it does come with horn and i'm still waiting to see message reply if you can what exactly customer service i hope the bicycle and that's one of the reason i love to uh follow like uh, with all this concern when i start to make video about the bicycle some people just make and forget sometimes i open the group uh, my own group for different brand so I they will not be blackout and if anybody have an issue I usually uh, bring this concern to the company so Macwell so far they've been cool 
but I, I have not heard anything bad about them and it's my first head of experience on them so hopefully they are doing good as customer service but uh, I know this customer service it can be two-sided you need to hear both sides and see what's bad I believe they come with two years warranty I'm not sure how exactly the warranty work you need to read the terms of the agreement but I am talking today about the quality of the bike only so that's what I see that's what I'm talking about uh, the grips are comfortable nice looks like vegan leather so the handlebar is wide enough to feel very comfortable running the bike you can simply if you don't get this if you don't want to have this uh, free mirror the senu which attached to handlebar you can buy also the side mirror and you can easily attach right over here on the side which also great because you can easily uh, remove this cup by unscrewing the screw over here and remove it and insert the side mirror so it's completely customizable for your experience riding and as i'm running right now on pelasis level one let's go for a ride this bike actually one of the comfortable rides not only the sitting position the way it's performed and i'm not comparing this bike to power bikes like i just um, rode with more power i'm just saying that this is a bicycle you want to ride and pedal enjoy like uh, riding off-road go to school <coughs> sorry and go a long distance the battery it's uh, only 15 amp or 16 amp which is not the largest they do have uh, i think models which comes with larger but this bike is good for someone who will pedal between 20 to 40 miles i would say they will be able to easily to get a probably up easily 40 miles an hour 40 miles distance depend on the speed how much you weight wind tire pressure weather temperature many different factors but in general it's a great bike i'm gonna go running furthermore and too many people here so I'm gonna go around I guess but it is really nice comfortable bike a nice maneuver you can do on this bike if you want to but this like kind of between performance fat tire bike and just basic one so you got uh, to summarize it comes with nice suspension fork which uh, work great on the regular road or off-road and it comes with nice uh, grip like grips so you can ride it for long distance it does come with very nice uh, pedaling position which really good I think that's a very important when you're picking the bike but again this bike weight probably over 73 i'm not actually i never weighed it, this bike i think i don't remember how much it weighed but you might want to check the website for exact weight usually this type of bicycle would weigh about 72 to 74 pounds so they're not light the battery would weigh about 9 to 10 pounds and um, again it's can um, you can find easily the rack which will fit electric bicycle like this because it's under 80 pounds usually also most people who buy this type of bikes they buy to commute to work school or go to for a ride <coughs> it's a little bit windy i'm gonna go to another street let's go faster actually right on the street here we have a bike lane which great stuff 
and I'm gonna talk about the as you can see it's easily 20 miles now but it is a little bit windy so I don't recommend to go fast on a bike lane like this uh, I'll tell you why so for example you're going 30 miles an hour and somebody opens the door you will not be able to stop you will crash and I can tell you it's one of the biggest issues usually for the bicycles uh, when you're going fast and somebody opens the door they don't really pay attention honestly I feel very sorry for the bikers and the people who open the door they just don't pay attention usually they didn't mean to get you killed but that's number one dangerous so that's why I usually ride sidewalks it may be illegal in your area same like here it's kind of but it's a safer for me and it's safer for you most likely but you need to check with your local authority if it's good or not for me never been stopped by cops they don't really they probably will agree with me and never have any issue with riding on the sidewalk hopefully i will never have this issue but if i feel safe to ride on the street like right now i like to ride on the street because it's much better for me less bumps and stuff and then uh, go go pedal assist level two and when you're riding like this type of bike you're gonna get a lot of attention as well even it's uh, just green they also have a gray color I'm gonna go slow because it's too windy uh, so those bikes usually get a lot of you um, when I ride this bicycle as you could see probably everybody like looking at what kind of bike because it looks not only awesome but it's long clean but I don't, don't recommend to buy electric bicycle based on review or best based on the review some reviews may be not honest at all I try to give uh, my real experience just what I know about the bicycle and to show you all this information and this bicycle may be not for everyone and I understand it and I'm telling you it's probably not for everyone some people need more speed some people want to ride uh, with a torque sensor and we're gonna go about the torque sensor information as well so when you have a torque sensor on the bicycle that will be great but not for everyone and I'm gonna explain to you I'm gonna turn around so this comes this bike comes with cadence sensor the cadence sensor is great for people who wants to ride uh, with uh, more power assist I guess uh, let's say if somebody after knee surgery or have heart issue and you don't want heart to pedal it because like for example I'm gonna set it up to pedal assist level 5 and I start to pedal just a little bit I don't have even to push the pedals hard it will accelerate really fast up to the top speed right now i'm moving very slowly my feet but wow it's go like quick right um so you don't really have to push the pedal in order to go faster or go any speed so you just have to move the pedals that's a biggest difference and some negative for some people so if you're looking for bike the one you want really exercise and um, you have a good health like uh, no issue with your knees or heart then you may consider torque sensor torque sensor would be on the they have another models you may want to check and i love the torque sensor because i love to use this as exercise but from my experience this bike actually feels like torque sensor almost because it's so smooth so you 
feel a little bit different, but it will take some time to learn if it's different or not. If you never rode the bicycle one versus another, you probably will not know much because it's very smooth acceleration and keep up. So let's say I'm going about now 30 miles, 40 miles an hour. It's just nice pedaling. So in order to ride uh, with torque sensor that fast or any speed, you have to really push the pedal. So as soon as you push the pedal, the power will go into the controller and controller will message the motor and say, okay, it's time to work and the motor will accelerate. That's uh, how the torque sensor. So basically it's produced by your feet, pushing on the pedal and it's located in the bottom bracket and I'll stop somewhere over here, let's see, to show you the cadence sensor location. Because it's easy to spot it if you're buying a used bike. Some people are not sure where it is. They think it's somewhere inside, but also it's located right here. This one. This plastic is cadence sensor. It's uh, basically this usually 8 to 8, 12 magnet inside. So when you pedal it, it will just uh, move it inside and send the signal to the motors time to work this bike i didn't talk about have also another adapter over here actually outlet and i'll just close this because i don't think i will ever use this but this is for people like uh, who are planning to use with uh, sol solar power which is great uh, like uh, it's basically give you some power like you need to buy I believe you need to buy this uh, additional tool from them in order to use it. Okay, gold bikes coming. <laughs> Today is Tor Plus day. <laughs> and I know, but um, I only answer about Tor Plus today. So, Aaron, gold bikes are coming soon and again there are two different animals so this bike actually kind of have advanced future which i never saw like uh, on any other bicycle but i'm not sure if you will ever use or i will ever use but if you're planning to take um, with you on rv trip or off-road and use this um, to charge through solar panel and use this as a power bank because then you can use this battery as power bank and stuff sometimes the bikes usually would have like usb port for charging your phone and stuff but i don't see anywhere close to on this bike so i don't think it comes i don't see anywhere so this now but it does it does come with a horn signal which is great and um I'm gonna turn around because it's gonna be much louder. I like this area because it's not that loud over here. And it's kind of peaceful to bike over here and nice road. So far, no questions, still no answer about the uh, no good customer service, but that's what I usually like to ask because I know that some people have some bad experience because they think it's bad but actually it's maybe not the bad it's just normal for them so i want to know what exactly please comment below what exactly you think is bad because i'm not calling out anyone but i'm saying that from my experience uh, i think many posts in different groups as uh, i didn't have any bad experience with this company so far and uh, the reason I never contact them because so far everything works on this bike. So that's very important. I, if you have a bad experience because the bike came damaged, that sucks, but usually they send you a replacement part, which you can uh, replace it by yourself or take it to the bike shop to do that for you. Some company pay for labor, usually if it's damaged during the shipment, but you have to submit this claim usually within certain time to get it fixed and I'm not sure about the return policy so you might want to check as well but 
again um i haven't i don't have experience and i cannot really tell you i know that uh, the battery charge it's located on the left side and on the right side is small battery like bars which kind of um, good and bad the bad is that you have to familiarize how many bars inside so for me like i'm not sure it's still green so it's still good i wrote about 14 and a half miles let's see if i can switch to odometer no and uh, it just tell me a trip miles i don't see odometer reading So I still need to learn how to use adamantium reading on this bike. Usually there is a button you push and you get adamantium reading. But again, every bike different. This bike comes with uh, it's very good visibility with limited information like trip, pedal assist level, and I'm in echo. If I go higher, actually I still say echo. So since it says echo, most likely there is also should be like kind of sport mode how to get to the port mode i need to run maybe it does not have option on this model because sometimes they use the same display for all the models so maybe different model will have it but that it showed me how long i was i guess running from the time i start the bike 20 minutes i guess because it was shut down when i was talking about this bike and let's go pedal assist to and since i don't see any comments i'm gonna go one more round and see if you have any comments before i route here yeah, like uh stop this video live stream comment below if you think i should post the full video in better quality because um i'm not sure how the live stream went quality but it should be recorded on the gopro so i can post the copy of it uh, on my channel again i have full video with unboxing detail of unboxing and also i have a video with uh, like in that same video you'll see the speed test with all the gps i always check with gps because sometimes they are not accurate but this one it was accurate mostly and um, also i have like hill test which are very impressive as i said before some people looking for bike to go uphill in the hill area but they don't want to use the pedals they want to use only throttle so this bike can go pretty steep hill without dying and the motor actually not that loud it's a very nice stable motor working good So I'm gonna go around for another five, ten minutes, and then if there's no questions other than gold bike, I'm gonna round up and um, and over here I can see like um, the torque, I guess, or whatever, or the speed maybe show is going all the way up. Yeah, it looks like it's it's more like a speed information, but it's just visual, no numbers. And I do wish they have like voltage information and the power output, but for some reason they didn't have it. And if you ever rode uh, professional bikes, m more expensive, they have usually very small display because usually you don't need a large display; it will just block your view, and you would watch uh, like it's not like. TV you don't really need to watch it you just need to see the number clearly that's it that's what it's showing me I can see the number very clear on the Sun or in the dark I'm gonna turn on the light light is on still can see very clear and also kind of high and this bike should be perfect for someone who is a uh, 59 and probably to 64 because it's a largest large frame and position and the seat can go high 
will make your ride very comfortable and also it can hold a good weight something always be careful when you're riding the sidewalks and always oh something happens there oh. But I will not go close. I think somebody died. But um, that's uh, sucks. Uh, yeah, I can ride the bike all day long. So I think I can ride probably 50 miles only with uh, one charge because the pedaling is so comfortable. So when it's comfortable pedaling on the bike, you can ride it with no issue at all. And. Um, Look on this dog, beautiful. Not really. The dogs always will attack you most of the time. This dog, larger one, well trained, didn't care about me. the owner. And uh, the leash was uh, on the floor because the owner saw no the dog. But again, if somebody tell you and don't worry about, the I would worry most likely because most of those dogs would uh, attack you. <laughs> and um, I appreciate when the people hold the dogs on the leash on But it will end and usually afraid. Larger ones secure behave. Since there's no much comments so far, so feel free to leave a comment below. Just a reminder there's fifty dollars off on this bike particular or any bike from Macwell will expire soon that only will only work for one week from the day I will broadcast live stream but contact me so I can maybe get a new code for you but they only give me for one week which is kind of strange and uh, also they have like big sales so it's great so you get a lot of accessory which is useful but thank you guys for watching joining this live stream uh, leave a comment what do you think should I do more live stream like this or better just unboxing video with um, speed test and heel test or maybe off-road test thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video